Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Gemini. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, I scurried the crystal ball for you today, and the image that appeared within the crystal ball for you was um, very interesting. The first image that appeared, but it came in quite fuzzy, so at first I wasn't sure if that's what it was, but then it ended up showing itself again, so in that time it was clear. Uh, the first fuzzy image to appear was the image of a volcano going off. And then the image changed where, you now this part is kind of confusing, was like a cartoon Hello Kitty poodle. Um, I have no clue what that could possibly mean. Perhaps you like that or someone you know likes that or this has something to do with the, um, the country where this volcano is going to go off at. You know, so take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. Uh, the next image that I saw after that was a very large volcano and it was going off and this time it came in clear and there was like sparks uh, flying from it. So there possibly could be a volcano that's going to uh, go off in the near future. Um, just, uh, I don't know, take it how it resonates and I hope everyone will be safe, you know, during that time. But let's get into your reading. Uh, the first card to come out for you today was the Knave of Cups. So with the Knave of Cups being here, this is someone offering you something here. Someone's going to be voicing something to you, very much connected to emotions and that and truth because you have the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Knave of Cups being paired up to the Ace of Swords, someone is going to speak some truth to you. Someone is going to give some type of clarity to a situation. And that was clarified by the hangman. So with the hangman being here, someone's going to be, bring clarity to you. Whatever you were in your head about or your thoughts, someone's going to give you truth and clarity that's going to bring you out of that. Next card out for you is the world card. So with the world card being here, this is the ending of a cycle and something new beginning here. So you're going to have some type of new start here. And that was clarified by the eight of coins. So I feel like this is somehow work related. So with the Eight of Coins, whatever it is you're working towards or trying to manifest, you're going to hear some type of good news in regards to work, and it's going to bring some type of clarity to you. Next card out for you is the High Priestess. So with the High Priestess being here, you're being told to rely on your intuition, trust your instinct because that is God communicating to you, you know, trust your dreams and all types of symbols because that is God's way of trying to communicate to you and letting you know his messages. Next card out for you is the Knave of Coins. So with the Knave of Coins being here, you're going to be receiving good news in earthly matters. So receiving good news in earthly matters, I feel like well, this is going to be something involving your work where you're going to um, find out some type of good financial abundance in regards to that. Next card out for you is Star Nations Ancestors. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that we are all connected to the stars and to the celestial realms and had one time, you know, been these stars, you know, angelic beings in the heavenly realms. And it's letting you know that your ancestors are watching you from the stars. And if you have someone that was very close to you that, you know, died or passed on, I should say, then they are watching you from the stars and that they're always with you. And whenever you look at the night sky, they are looking back down upon you. So that's a beautiful message for someone out there. Next card out for you is Yarrow Boundaries. So with the Yarrow card boundaries coming out, it's letting you know that you have this wounded warrior healer energy. And that you are able to heal others and that you're very much spiritually connected and have um, these empath, you know, abilities. And it's letting you know here that every, you know, healer has a warrior spirit, just like every warrior, uh, spiritual warrior has that healer spirit to them. So they're both one of the same. And it's letting you know here, though, to protect your energy here with the boundaries. So... Basically, what that means, beware of energy vampires, and also you could pick up on other people's energy. So if they're like, if you know someone doesn't like you, or if someone's feeling angry, or whatever their emotion is, sometimes you could pick up on that, and it'll feel like it's your own. So it's letting you know to pay attention to that, you know, and to protect your energy and always ground yourself. Um, Yarrow has lots of medicinal benefits that are worth looking into, and Yarrow itself, if you ever, you know, God forbid, have a very uh, bad wound that is bleeding profusely, a small amount of yarrow applied to that wound will help it heal, you know, up instantly and stop the bleeding. So all in all, I see a, a positive message here for you. Um, work related, I do see you receiving good news in earthly matters and lots of abundance, you know, that Jesus is going to be blessing your life here with some type of good news. Um, with the volcano, I would be cautious of that. Um, be ca cautious around travel is kind of what I'm picking up, you know, perhaps from like a different country, wherever there's like volcanoes, just be kind of 
you know, keep that in the back of your mind about the volcano. But all in all, I do see a really good positive reading here for you with lots of earthly abundance. And you do have a loved one watching you from beyond. All right. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.